Africa coming here we always know you know super sport are a very difficult team to play against uncomfortable team they're very direct you know they've got some good uh, aerial ability um, in people like Krobler that they play off they like to get the ball wide and get the ball into the box you know direct from the back not too much build up uh, they're also a really good pressing team so we had to adapt a little bit of the game tactics today um, you know hence we gave uh, Lasse Sobiak an opportunity he knew that it would be an aerial battle I thought he was really superb and also knowing that they press as well as they do and cause problems that way we also look to bypass that and play a little bit more longer and more direct that's uh, hence Ortiz was in the team played a little bit of him and then um, you know we almost made it uncomfortable for them the way they make it uncomfortable for opposition um, so we just adapted our game a little bit like that um, second half we came out uh, a couple of changes I thought we got a little bit of momentum and impetus going we were able to move the ball a little bit quicker it became a little bit open um, so yeah it could have gone either way in that second half but uh, I still believe that we created the, the biggest chances of the game um, they had a couple of chances but more from outside the box so yeah, um, a great performance, uh, depth in the team showed this evening that there is um, the character commitment from the players that don't often get starts just to come in and play the way they did. Uh, bodes well for us with the last matches of the season ahead with a big semi-final on Sunday. So a lot of players, uh, you know, put their hand up to, to be selected for, for the semi-final. So all around very pleased uh, with the performance. Yes, no, I'm happy. Uh, against a team like Supersport, you've always got to be, you know, they are not lying second or, I don't know, after tonight, maybe they're still third. But yeah, they're not a team that lies in that position for nothing. So coming away, uh, having played uh, Saturday, I don't think they played the weekend. So they're probably a bit fresher than us uh, to make the many changes that we've done uh, to the team and still get a point, uh, I think, was massive for us. Coach, um, two players that got an opportunity was obviously Kyle and Reed. I haven't had much first team before. Uh, what did you make of him? Yeah, I know it was Carl's uh, PSL debut. He, he had the cup debut against uh, Sundowns, you know, for a young kid like him. Uh, he's come up against Serino and Shalilule. And Nasir came on, you know, today. Often he had to deal with aerial balls that uh, played into to Bradley, dealing with Lungu. So, um, you know, he done he's done really well. Um, credit to him, you know, to deal with these situations is really uh, massive for him. So, very pleased. Um, that you know, he shows that he could be a capable uh, understudy for now uh, for Dino, uh, and then Reed. I thought you know, keeping a clean sheet, dealt with whatever he had to deal with. A lot of aerial balls into the box. He dealt with well. Good organisation, good uh, commanding of his area, and good distribution. So uh, a really good all-round performance from Reed. How do you balance this uh, fighting for top eight and not going as deep as you can in the cup? Yeah, it's just really concentrate on one game at a time. So uh, today was important for us to get just a point, even if it wasn't a, a three-pointer, uh, with two games to go against Marisburg and Galaxy. So, um, you know, we were targeted to get to 40 points. So we've got two matches to, to hopefully get there. And we trust that that should be sufficient to be in the top eight. Um, and then the cup is a different competition. So, you know, it's not the same stress as the, the league. So, you know, we've done well. There's no pressure on us. I think reaching a semi-final has been a massive achievement. Um, so yeah, nothing stops us from really having a full go on Sunday uh, in front of our fans. Hopefully we can fill up Donny Craven, get the big crowd behind us, because if they can help us get to a final, it would be a massive achievement for, for this football club. Does this team selection suggest that you're going to go all out to try and win this cup? Yeah, who wouldn't, to be fair. Um, you know, when you get this far, you have to try and go all the way, so most definitely. Um, you know, there's a week between the next uh, league match, so we can have a full go at it. Um, we're hungry for success. Um, you know, we're hungry to to finish the season really strong, um, and hopefully we have four matches left: one cup semi and one final, hopefully, uh, and two big league matches. So if we can really concentrate and finish the season strong, we can look back after a difficult period that we had at at, at some stage in the season and look back and say it's been a really good season if we managed to get to a final and finish top eight. How much of a blow was it not in the this yeah, I think it was a blow. I mean, uh, in the type of goal scoring form that he's in, you know, especially second half when the game opened up and there were some transition moments. Um, I think, you know, he would have may have been a difference tonight to get the winner. So, uh, but it is what it is. Um, you know, he has been working really hard for us playing 90 minutes, 90 minutes the way he plays, you know. Um, I think it might be a blessing in disguise that he wasn't available tonight um, because he's key for us uh, going forward. The final one for me, coach. Um, obviously, you know, beating Sikupune, I think, guarantees you Cap Confederations Cup. 
So in hindsight, you know, putting all the eggs in one basket and maybe giving opportunity to some other players in the final game, is that a thought that's going through your guys' head? Um, it, it, yeah, it could be. I think it's we just, you know, after games like that, you just need to get back and sit down and re reassess and rethink things. Um, you know, people like Andre de Jong is coming back from injury. A junior mediator wasn't available today. Um, so, you know, there, there, there's ways that we can look to play with it. I think now is just get back to Cape Town, regenerate, refresh, uh, prepare for the semi-final. And should we make the final, then, you know, we'll then decide how we approach the, the final three matches of the season. Firstly, for me, maybe two questions. Firstly, um, how far has this team come um, in this season? And also, who is your, who are you working for for the club? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the last question is difficult to answer. I think uh, uh, one or two final fixtures needs to take place. But I would like to say that uh, I would hope that people like Ikram Reynas and Junior Mendieta start being part of that conversation. Um, I don't necessarily believe that uh, they should win it, but uh, sundowns, the way they've played, it should be from there. Um, but they have to be in the conversation. The amount of goals and assists uh, Rainers has had, the amount of goals and assists that the Mendieta has, hopefully they can get some recognition. And also, young player of the season, I uh, would be very, very disappointed if uh, we didn't have some nominees for, for that. Um, again, we finished the game the last 15, 20 minutes with six players under the age of 22. Um, so, you know, the future looks good for the club. Um, it's always just the challenge of making sure that we maintain this maintain the squad uh, to take us forward.